The following is a fan-based review. All materials discussed are property of Toei Inc., Bandai, and Saban Entertainment. Hello everyone, and welcome to a special episode of the Toku Cast. We are here to talk about the official 2017 Power Rangers movie trailer. The second one. The second yes. one. The official trailer. The other one was a teaser. Which we have already discussed. Tuss. Annotation in that video. But anyway, um, we are we're gonna kind of separate this into parts. So each of us are gonna talk about one part of the trailer, uh, and one part of the movie, and we're gonna go in order. We're gonna start with Jacob. So uh, really, nothing else to say. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, watch it before watching this video. Yeah, go, go ahead and give it a watch. Yeah, definitely give it a watch. It was a fun trailer to watch. Yeah. Moving on. But all the same, why don't you start off? Well, I'm gonna start off. Let's talk about the director, Dean Israelite. He has. Okay, aside from a couple of short films and some TV work, he's done one feature film, and, that was, and that's Project Almanac, which is the Michael Bay-produced found footage time travel movie. Oh. oh. So, not starting off on the best foot, but, I mean, you know, hey, the movie could be good. Every director has that uh, movie. Again, well, the thing is, that's a movie that deals with teenagers. This is a movie that deals with teenagers. I can see one of the reasons why they'd go to him for that. Teenagers. Teenagers. <laughs> yes. Teenagers. Thank you. Um, one of the things I draw ire with is the fact that it took four people to come up with this movie story. There are four credited story people. There's Matt Sazama and Burke Sharpless. They are a writing duo whose past three credits include Gods of Egypt. Oh, God. The Last Witch Hunter starring Vin Diesel. Uh -huh. And Dracula Untold. Uh -huh. Not exactly the greatest track record there. But then we move on to Kieran and Michelle Mulroney. They're another writing duo. They're a married couple. They wrote Sher they wrote uh, Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, which I really liked. That was a good movie. Wasn't, that was the second one. That yeah. was the second one. They wrote the second one, which I really liked. That was a good movie. Now, the guy actually credited with the screenplay is John Gattins, who did the story for Need for Speed, starring Aaron Paul. I enjoyed that movie, He wrote actually. Real Steel. Also enjoyed that Starring uh, Hugh Jackman. And he also wrote Flight, starring Denzel Washington, which yeah. I really liked. So, you know, kind of a mixed bag. He wrote Coach Carter with Sam Jackson. Oh. He's, he's, got, he's got some good stuff, but the fact that it took four people, people to come up with the story, some of which who have not had the best track record, kind of worries me a little bit. Just hoping that it's consistent. That's all I care about. Yeah, <laughs> as long as the story is consistent. And cohesive. And, <laughs> That's yeah. all that matters. And then we move on to the cast. We Most, most of no. us all know Brian Cranston, Breaking Bad and whatnot, Godzilla, etc., Marcus, something you, wanna, something you want to say? <laughs> I, I do. I think I'm the most excited about him being Walter White and Elizabeth Banks. The Just, two big, the only the, like, like yeah, the two, the two big the, names. But I mean, well, I'm liking two big names that actually show their face. <laughs> three, technically three, because you have Bill Hader Bill is the voice Hader. of Alpha Five. We'll get, we'll get there. <laughs> He's great. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll get there. We'll get there. So I'm, but I'm, Brian Cranston is Zordon. We finally heard him in this trailer. We finally see, see him. him. We finally well, we we got like a leaked image of like a VR experience that was going on. It's you really a, couldn't see. You couldn't really see him in that. Boring. But now we finally got a look at him, and I gotta say, I like what they're doing with Zordon in this movie. Yeah, we'll we'll cover that in my. I like that. We will. We just mm -hmm. want to say, but we've heard him. We finally got to hear him. That's good. As for the Rangers themselves, they don't really have. Each one has like maybe five or some of them have more, but they don't have a lot of credits to their name. Which is kind of a which tradition is, which, of Power Rangers. Which is understand. Yeah, but that's the same thing. That's a low-budget TV show that's being adapted from the Super Sentai series, and now you have a, you know, however many millions of I think dollars. This I also think they're trying to not get many too, too many big names. Because you already have three. Yeah. So, I mean, you end up getting something else. You know, because then you have, then, then you get that label of, this is just an excuse to put these people in the movie. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you're not wrong. Having something like this, having but, these fresh faces just ends up bringing in. And besides, but, um, you gotta start somewhere. But I will yeah. say this. We know that uh, R.J. Siler, who is playing Billy, we know he can act. Yeah. He was he was uh, Earl and me and Earl and the Dying Girl. We know that guy can act. Everyone else is... we don't know yet. Or Becky G, who's a singer. Who is a singer, and she is playing Trini, our Yellow Ranger. But, and yeah, some we'll see. singers, some singers have made the transition from singing to acting well, and some haven't. We'll have I, to I will say, Ludi Lin, who is playing uh, the Black Ranger, that one delivery he has in the trailer of I'm black. No, the oh. line after that. 
I am. <laughs> that not, pretty okay, much so made that joke. Yeah. You're George. It didn't make the joke for me, but it's like, you're now George Takei, all right? <laughs> so, uh, we'll, we'll move I on I just to hope me. they're all good. Yeah. We'll move on to me. I'm going to talk about pretty much the aesthetic, the look of what we got to see in this trailer. So let's first start with... The, well, but even before that, let's talk about where we where they are. Let's talk about the command center. I like the look. It's a yeah. it, it is a spaceship. It is dark. It is underground. Mm-hmm. And let's and the look for Zordon, I really do like. One, I'm glad he's a little more. I can't believe I'm about to say this sentence. A little more mobile than a head in the tower. Yes, he is now a face in the wall. He's now a face so in the wall. So he can move around the command center with the with the pin, like the toys you get. You yes, know, we were yeah. kids. Yes, he looks like that. And it made me think of uh, the uh, AI from iRobot, like the lead AI. Oh yeah, oh, you see yeah. Face on the screen. That's kind of what it reminded me of. Yeah, I I do like I like the the little centerpiece. I think I'm guessing it's. I guess that's the viewing globe. Yeah. I, really, I think it's in the place of an actual globe in this case. Which I think is cool. And they have their own little spot to stand in. Let's talk about... Not her. Um, let's talk about the one thing that doesn't look so good in the command center. Alpha. Alpha, Alpha five. 5. Now... Who looks freaking hideous. Yeah. But he is an alien. Is he an alien I, or a robot? Alien robot. Alien... Who cares? <laughs> but still, so I get... Exactly if it's a robot, robot, that means someone designed him. I mean, there's that, so yeah, much... But alien, <laughs> alien, yeah, but if it's from another planet, it's still... It's, it's still an I alien. understand they're going it's to... A, it's a robot of alien origin. There so, we go. Yeah, that's one thing we have to remember is that this is all... Unlike really they ever specified in Power Rangers the show, this is all alien tech. They are all alien they, and, tech. And with Alpha 5, they ran with that. That doesn't mean I have to like how it nope. looks. I still think it looks nope. terrible. It, <laughs> it may look alien. I don't care. I don't like how it looks. No, that's my point, is that they ran with it, and they ran with it into a wall. Everything else looks... A wall made of Walter White. <sighs> I'm fine with it. I couldn't resist. You don't mind, Alpha? I don't. I, I can I can defend that we're not going to end up seeing that much of him. Yeah, I got the same so feeling. I don't really end up caring that much about. Yeah, him. I mean, I, I got somebody. I mean, you get someone like Bill Hader to voice him. I assume he's going to be in there to a at degree. Least, at least more than Jared Leto was in Suicide Squad. Ha ha ha! Back to this. Anyway, yeah. um, now let's move on to the next big name: Rita Repulsa, Elizabeth Banks. I love what they're doing with her so far. I like I the look. I like the look. I like how she gets more than one costume. Yes. Oh, she has the original one, which is just like the, the green the rags. Oh, oh yeah, that. I like the staff. The staff is like very the cool. Staff. The staff, staff obviously has, has the green power, power plant. plant well, we've already established that she was the Green Ranger. Yeah. So. But I just think I just love how it's just pretty much how it kind of grew from it to. And I love like this is just the thing dealing with her actual makeup, but they like made veins and everything pop out of her face. Yep. Mm-hmm. I just and like how that moment when she's there. talking to Trinity in the new trailer. Trinity. 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 Sorry, I didn't realize this was a Matrix. Damn it! I was going to say that. Yay! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Word flub. I got it out of the way. Right. When she was talking to Trinity, how the stuff was growing on her back. Yeah. Like this suit was forming. That yeah. kind of reminded me of like something very Geiger esque, like the Xenomorphs. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I thought it was great. It's and she's still, she's still very threatening. Yes. Because Elizabeth I'm, st- I'm still not convinced, but... I love it. I'm, I'm, that whole I also, I'm, I'm optimistic. Can we also um, just be glad that she's not sitting at her castle on the moon? She's actually there. <laughs> she's, she's more hands-on this yes. time around. Like, I love that scene nice. of her walking down the street. And the putties. And the, and the golems, in this case. Golems? Go- golems. Golems. We are the the Power Rangers. Rangers. Power Rangers. Yes. We hate the Power Rangers. Like, bring them out and the ground. Some people have. Been, I've been because I've after this trailer came out, I went to go watch other people react to it, see, read comments, see what people are saying. People are wondering if those are the putties. Yes, those are the putties. They were called golems in the original Sentai, so they kind of took that concept and used it instead, which like, I think looks better. A yeah. Here's the thing. I don't mind the concept. That CGI is really distracting. It's, they look like computer animated rocks. Isn't that basically what they are? Uh, you, can, <laughs> you can make them look a little more more like rocks. But, magic. Magic, yeah. Right. But anyway, um, I think they look that's fine. A per, that's just a personal thing for me. We I, also don't see them the CGI. Very... The CGI that we've seen in the trailer just really... I'm not a fan. It looks, and you're not it, the only it, one. It, look, it looks too much like a video game cutscene. Man, if only the video game they just came out with was actually good. Moving on to the uh suits. Have you played the video game they come out with they came out with? I did not give a shit. Moving on. <laughs> well then we don't know. Yeah. So let's move on to the thing everyone wants to talk about. The suits. The suits. I don't mind them. 
I, I do understand. They finally people, have their pop figures out. <laughs> and I will be getting some. But I, I don't mind the suits. Uh, the helmets are still a bit iffy. They weren't shown very prolonged in the trailer, except for the... We got that hero shot. We got the, we got, we got multiple. We got the hero walk, and we got the superhero landing. Deadpool. Yeah, we got a superhero landing. Deadpool. That's right. Deadpool, De- Deadpool Deadpool's be, applauding off screen somewhere. He's very sar- sarcastically applauding. Superhero landing. I like superhero landings. I like superhero landings. And uh, and so I don't mind the suits. They look a little less glowy in the shots that we get, which I'm glad they did. Considering they, they're in a very dark room, yeah, they do. If look you a lot look less at glowy. them, like in the original tra- like well, the original teaser, the original and, concept, and, and the original, is, and like the picture, they they're do, they're a lot different. Like the chest is glowing. That's also concept art, not yeah, but yeah, the, but look what happened with the concept art with Alpha Five. That's pretty much what we got. I, I know. But <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, the, the like, point is that is just, that is CGI concept art versus from the actual the concept to the one that they have in the movie. You could tell a lot of things did change over the. They took months. away the giant glowing chest piece. That it's still there. Well, that might always it, that might still glow. That might glow like when they first transform, maybe. But then but it, like, it might, maybe dies down. It dies down. That's probably what I'm thinking. Which I think is really cool. I like how they. Um, Incorporated so, the belts again. Incorporated the belts again. Mm-hmm. I like how they showed that that bit where the Red Ranger is getting the person out of the flip car. Because I'm sorry, the suit looked great in that shot. I like that. I like that clip from the trailer specifically because it shows them saving people and not yes, just they're not, the they're not just fighting monsters. They actually are working to help people escape. That doesn't happen that often. Especially, you know, it really doesn't. So the suits look good. It looks like they the motion of the suits is working. Well, there's well. also five of them, so they can. You know, go off and do yeah. other things. You two so it looks the like monsters, we two go rescue. For the split to second go. we saw them fight, it looks like the motion is good. It looks like they're not going to be so um, Iron Manny as people were worried about. Yeah. So, and now let's get to the Zords. I hate them. I love them. I'm. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I like some of them. Hate it. Well, let me, let me take it back. Hate is a strong word. I'm disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I just don't really like how they look. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. I'm not dis. I'm not That's disappointed. Worse. <laughs> I'm not disappointed. I'm not angry. I just. I just don't really like how they look. Well, we really didn't get to see. The thing is that because all the shots we saw, they were in motion. And yeah, but if you, yeah, but if you fast. pause it and you look, and you look at them, it's like. I just don't like. I just don't like how they look. I, I can't. They took. I can't. So it, say it it's kind of like. Fast. It's almost like what. Power Rangers Dino charged it. An alien came to Earth, saw dinosaurs, and pretty much made mechs out of what he saw. But in this case, it looks like they added more of an alien spin to it. Because I think... The Triceratops has six legs. And so does the Mastodon, doesn't it? Yeah, they have six legs. Which is okay. They also have... They're also full of holes. Um... I like them. I, I don't think like, I think, I think the, mm-hmm. the one that think that looks the best to me, which I didn't think I was going to say this... Is it pink? No. I was going to say yellow. Yes. That scene where it jumps onto Goldar, which yeah. we, I will get to him in a second. We'll get to that. We will get to him in a second. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. Like, I, that, I, that's how you do it. That and just swatting pink out of the... I also like how the visors come undone when they're in the Zords, which I kind of like they and leg- don't... They legitimately never did. That was something that was legitimately just from... Hurricane Ranger Jitter, and Ninja and Storm. They brought it into this, and I think that's just a great thing that they did. It, it's a good thing because then we, because we one, actually get to see them in the suit. We get to see them in the suit. We know it's not just a stunt double all the time, even though they're just sitting there. But it also means that the actors are getting their money's worth. Yes, <laughs> they don't get to just be in there for half the movie and then claim the rest of the paycheck. The Ultimate Megazord, still iffy on, mainly because. I don't like it because it's. I have the problem with it with the head with the suits too glowy. Because ev- like every like the chest piece glows and where's that picture? The chest piece glows, the elbow glows, the face glows. And like, okay, we get it. I also don't like how it doesn't look like it has anything to do with the other five Zora that they were piloting before it. That's the thing, though. You can't base it off of this trailer because of the no. fact that we don't know exactly how they're random coming together. No, you're right. I think that is because it's so alien technology that it's going to be able to be a lot smoother this time around. Kind of like, but together. as long as it's not as, you know, we're going to just bullshit our way through it like it was with the 1995 movie. <gasps> I'm sorry, I threw it in my mouth a little bit. I think I'll be okay well, with it. Well, one thing's for certain, they didn't blow all their money on a skydiving sequence. Thank fucking Christ. That's where the budget went. Yes, exactly. Now let's talk about the gold elephant in the room. Although I will say this before we get to that. Okay. I love that scene because they're really doing this thing where they don't 
since Angel Grove also, is not a big city, <laughs> okay. they're making Apparently. everything legitimately to scale. And I love that scene where you see the Megazord getting rising out of the dust. Yeah. I thought that was great. But this, just, I saw it, that. It kind of reminds me of... Um, like the first Thor movie or Man of Steel, where they have, where like superheroes are throwing down in a really small town, it's that but with giant robots. I but I saw the scene of him rising, and then I kind of thought of it to scale, and then I thought of the Zords in the show. I'm like, so this is like a midget compared to the other Zords we've dealt with. No, it's just the fact that they're not filming it from so far away. They're not using so toys. It, yes. It's just normally when or you like suits. say if this is the Zord from the show because like trees would be like that big compared to it, like really big trees. Mm-hmm. But now that the fact that this is the building and this is the Zord, it feels smaller than the rest of the Zords we're used to seeing. But, but I, I don't understand. Well, we're just gonna have, we're gonna have to wait till the sequel where we get the Brachiosaurus and then it gets all much bigger. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. maybe. No, um, <laughs> let's talk about the gold elephant. The gold elephant in the room. I hate how Goldar looks. Me too. The thing about Goldar is the fact that he is legitimately. He he looks so much like the Megazord, and that makes sense. It does. I'll because give you that. Rita but, was yeah, a previous yeah, ranger, yeah, yeah, yeah. so she would base Goldar, because I don't think she made Goldar until after the fact. She bases it did off she, of the Megazord. Did she make him, or, was, or wasn't or was he a god that she was, like, serving or something like that? No, she serves Zed. Which... Are you sure? Yeah. I'm Zed's pretty sure she should... Yeah, sure, I'm pretty... Huh, I'm power... I'm gonna look up the... Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> uh, we should have pulled this up, but, um... I just Goldar is, but as far as the way he looks, once again, I love the way. They I'm sorry to be together. such a negative about it, but all about all the aesthetics. But yeah, I just don't really like the way. It I looks. love the way. I they do like the suits, together. though. I did like the suits. The, like they brought him together with she needed gold to make him again. Which I love how they, the one of the first scenes you see her in, she's in what looks like a jewelry, a jewelry store, store and probably sense. stealing gold. Mm. But I just yeah. wish it didn't look like a 360 cutscene. Goldar just. He, it's the fact that he looks so compiled and so... Also, can we talk together. about how the Black Ranger is just going to be the one who tries to come up with all the quips? That's a lot of gold. No shit. Is he the one who said that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, no worries. Just like a video game. Bam! That's a hard-ass hologram. <laughs> also, I'm going to talk about this because no one's brought it up yet. One thing I found funny that no one seems brought up is that when they went to go into their little training room... Billy has a neon yellow headband. He's fucking ready to he go. He's ready. He is ready. Maybe he watched Karate Kid before he got there. <laughs> uh, let's see. The of course, the, of course, the original. Okay, I'm about to say. No, B- Billy. Billy's an original Karate Kid kind of man. I can tell. <laughs> but I mean, like, he probably doesn't even acknowledge the remake. It's just, I love a lot of things about what they've shown in this trailer. And while Matt's getting that up, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my section. Uh, I'm yeah, going to be ahead. talking about, you know, the fight right. scenes, what we end up getting. The choreography, I mean, we don't end up really getting to see that much in this one. Uh, we end up getting to see Billy kick the hell out of one of the putties, what the golems, golems, whatever. And he ends up yeah, which is I, I love the way they end up doing it because the kicks are fast. Uh, they like We end up seeing like the rangers like engaging in the background. We don't end up getting to see a lot more of the fights in this I hope. One. I love that scene the, of the yeah. Megazord punching Goldar in the face. I thought that was great. They were just like, this is coming, and now it hit you. And you felt that weight, because I think like they had the ground shake around them and everything when that was happening. Uh, as he said, the um, the Sabertooth Tiger jumping onto Goldar looked great. Best part of this trailer that we've seen so far, because it's just like, that's not something that they could have done in the original because, you know, all of the everything was so right. blocky. In 1991, but it's just—I love the way I mean, they. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I love the way that they just end up making everything really flow together uh, in terms of the fights, the um, the actual suits themselves. And of course, this is just based on the trailer. But one thing I want to say about the fights is, I hope they do flow in the movie. One of the one of the trends that I hate in action movies nowadays is that we have the camera this close to the actor's face. That's a problem during the fight scenes. Yeah, and is, we cut, 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 cut. This is a so definite fast. problem in American. Um, it's, uh, a, it's, it's a problem in American action movies for sure, of which there are a lot of. Yes, and yeah, we need to get into something that's a lot more. And I hope that doesn't happen with this. Like I don't know anything that Donnie Yen is in. If we end up getting something more like that. Then you know I figured that we're going to be fine uh, with, with the way the fight scenes and everything are working in this movie. I hope we can end up seeing them fight a little bit out of suit. I mean, we don't we don't get in that one scene of uh, I mean, we Trini saw, we saw them and Kimberly the, yeah. like 
the you know posing ready to fight inside. I, I guess it was somewhere. It might have been outside the command and, chamber yeah. or when they were about to train or something like in the original. Training. But that was like a classic, like back to back, like yeah. you know fight I, over I the power that, thing. That was a moment I liked. Yeah, I hope that it's not shaky cam. I hope if they do and have like oh god, I hope not. God, I hope it's not like a whole bunch of cuts. But I hope it's something like. You remember, like, the first episode or the first and second episode of Zuoja where they had the drone following Zuo Eagle? I hope we end up getting something, like, a little bit more flowy like that. Like, it, it will go from ranger to ranger, like, throughout, like, a motion instead of just a quick cut. Kind of like, like the church scene from Kingsman. Yes. That would be perfect. For this, that would be great. I would love it. I just think I would have to go put my, well, I would do popcorn, put my M&Ms down <laughs> and just go, yeah, you sour and patch, be sour patch gigs or whatever, whatever food you smuggle in with you. I'm not able to find food anything on whether or not um, she makes gold, gold or before or after the fact. But I did learn that the movie is pretty much going to open with an, uh, uh, this opening scene is going to be an ancient earth of Zordon versus Rita. That would be great. So does that mean we're going to see um, Brian Cranston dressed up as this version of Barza? No. no. He's going to be uh, the original Red Ranger. Yeah, he's going to be in a... Yeah, they're going to be on ancient Earth fighting, and then he... I feel like all my hopes and dreams just got crushed. Uh, apparently... Because <laughs> I would have loved to see him dressed up as Barza. Apparently he's going to detonate a black hole, which destroys him and uh, doesn't fully destroy Rita, and it vaporizes Goldar. And Rita gets banished to Russia. Don't go to the black hole. That's my one weakness. To Russia. Vodka ready for everybody. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, that's really all that we have yeah. for this one. It, I'm, what I'm just uh, on the side of, I don't think it's going to be blockbuster gold, no pun intended, but I think it's going to be a fun ride. It might be blockbuster gold, because that nostalgia, as long as it's not gin and holograms, or anything like that, which is only in theaters for about two weeks. But it, was, it was only in theaters for, for two, two weeks. weeks. Yeah. It was awful. This is something that... You know why? Like, because this is already following the source material more than gin and the holograms ever did. This one's actually about Power Rangers. <laughs> Plus, it's just like, they're doing a lot of hype for this. Like, I've heard just like regular people say they really want to go see this movie, just because of how, you know, not just the nostalgia feeling, but it looks... Like something that might actually be enjoyable. It also looks like something that you can introduce someone power, to Power Rangers and not be a cheesy 90s show. Oh, but I feel like they're going to be sorely disappointed if they were immediately go to this after watching this movie. Yeah, he's not wrong. Fair enough. But that is what we think of the new trailer. Mm-hmm. Let us know what you think in the comments. You love it? You hate it? You in the middle? We want to know. And always like and subscribe. And thanks again for joining the Toku cast. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.